lesson na ituturo ko sa araw na ito ay problem solving involving linear function in two variables. So, itong topic na to ay related lang din doon sa in-upload ko last time na problem solving involving linear equations in two variables. So, sa linear equations kasi ay representation po ni linear function. So, dapat ito talaga yung mauna si linear function. But since ating competency na una si linear equations, so, yun yung ating inuna. So, i-recap lang natin kung paano nga ba mag-solve ng linear equation. So, same method lang din naman siya with linear function. So, translate to a linear function. Sometimes, the trick to solving a word problem will be to translate it into a linear function. To clue you in, linear function word problems usually involve some sort of rate of change or steady increase or decrease based on a single variable. If you see the word rate or even per or each, it's safe bet that the word problem is calling for a linear function. So, same lang po sila ni linear equation. So, pag may na-encounter tayong rate of change, lalo na yung mga keyword na per or each, so, ang pinutukoy po natin doon ay yung slope. And then, pag may increase or decrease, so, based on a single variable, yun naman po yung ating y-intercept. So, there are a couple steps when translating from a word problem to a linear function. So, number one, find the y variable or output. So, kailangan kilalanin natin si y variable or, or yung magiging output natin. So, what is the thing you're trying to find? This will be often be a price or an amount of time or something else countable that depends on other things. So, number two, find the x variable or input. So, kailangan kilala din natin si x variable sa ating problem. So, what is affecting the price or amount of time? So, etc. Okay, number three, find the slope. So, what's the rate in the problem? So, pag may mga na-encounter tayong word na per each, yan. So, slope po ang tinutukoy doon. And number four, find the y-intercept. So, is there anything that's added or subtracted on top of the rate, no matter what, what x is? So, ayan, ito yung y-intercept, ito yung normal yung ina-add sa slope. Kung meron ba tayong ina-add or sinusubtract doon sa ating problem. And finally, kapag meron na tayo slope, y-intercept, tapos nakilala na natin si y tsaka si x, so plug all the numbers, you know, into y equals mx plus b or f of x equals mx plus b. So, ilalagay na po natin siya sa ating formula or sa ating linear function, f of x equals mx plus b or y equals mx plus b. So, let's have number 1. Jillian earns 200 pesos per day for selling chocolate online. How much will she earn in 20 days? So, para mas maintindihan natin itong ating problem, i-underline natin yung ating mga given. So, we have 200 pesos per day, tsaka 20 days. So, diba, para makapag-construct uh, tayo ng representation ng ating problem, kailangan kilala natin yung ating mga variables, si slope, tsaka si y-intercept. So, we let y equals earnings of Jillian in 20 days. So, yung y, ito yung output natin na kung saan hinahanap natin kung magkano yung kikitain ni Jillian sa loob ng 20 days. Okay, we let x is equals to the number of days. So, ito yung mga bilang ng araw na nagtatrabaho si Jillian. And m is equals to earnings per day. So, yung ating m Ito yung kinikita ni Jillian araw-araw. And since wala naman tayong y-intercept sa problem, pwede na tayo mag-construct ng ating linear functions. Ito yung kanyang representation. So, we have y equals 200x or f of x equals 200x. So, pwede natin isulat ang ating linear function as f of x equals mx plus b or y equals mx plus b. So, si substitute lang natin si m doon sa ating 
a linear function. So we have y equals 200x or f of x equals 200x. And since kukunin natin yung earnings ni Jillian in 20 days, um, ang magiging x natin sa given ay yung 20. So we let x is equals to 20 since yung x ay nagre-represent ng number of days. Yan. So si 20, i-substitute lang natin sa ating formula or sa ating equation. So we have y equals 200 times 20. So, 200 times 20 is equals to 4,000. So, y equals 4,000. So, ang ating x, yun yung ating input. At ang ating y, yun yung ating output. So, based sa problem, si Jillian will earn 4,000 in 20 days. Ayan. So, let's have number 2. MJ wants to rent a car. The rental shop charges an initial fee of 120 pesos plus 80 pesos per hour. If the total cost was 1,120, for how many hours was the car rented? So, meron na tayo na encounter na initial fee. So, may more time plus. So, alam na natin na meron tayong y-intercept sa ating problem. So, meron tayong na-encounter na per. So, alam na rin natin kung sino si Islog. So, i-underline na natin yung ating mga given. At ang hinahanap natin ay how many hours was the car rented? Since meron tayong total cost, so, ibig sabihin given na si y variable dito. At ang nawawala natin ay si x variable. So, let y equals total cost of renting a car. So, given na po siya sa ating problem. x is equals to number of hours was the car rented. So, siya yung ating hahanapin. So, m is equals to charges per hour. And ating b is the initial p. Yes. So, pwede natin isulat ito ating linear function as 100, uh, y equals 120 plus 80x. Pwede ganun. Pero dahil na una si mx, yun yung unay natin sa ating representation. So, we have y equals 80x plus 120 or f of x equals 80x plus 120. Kasi sa ating, uh, sa ating problem, ang ating slope dito ay 80 pesos per hour. So, yun yung ating m. At ang ating initial p, which is 120, yun yung ating magiging uh, y-intercept. Ayan. So, meron na tayong representation. And since sa ating problem, given si y, which is the total cost, and equal siya sa 1,120, so, ilalagay natin siya sa y. Ayan. And, hinahanap natin si x. So, since hinahanap natin kung ilang oras pa na-rent yung car, so, dahil na-substitute na natin lahat na sa ating, uh, sa ating functions or sa ating linear functions, so, pwede na natin siyang isold. So, we will subtract 120 both sides. So, para si 80x na lang yung matitira. So, we have 1,000 equals 80x. And since we're looking for the variable x, so, we will divide 80 both sides. So, we have x equals 12.5. So, ang ating answer, so, the car rented for 12.5 hours. So, ayan. So, let's have number 3. A delivery driver earns 700 pesos daily for an 8-hour shift and an additional 20 pesos for every hour after that. So, generate a function to solve his total earnings. So, i-underline na natin yung ating mga given. So, we have earned 700 daily. So, may na-encounter tayong word na additional. So, ibig sabihin meron tayong y-intercept dyan, which is 700. So, additional 20 pesos for every R. So, dahil may word tayong for every R or every, so, yun yung ating slow. So, yan na natin muna. I-represent muna natin siya. So, we let y equals total earnings of delivery driver. X is equals to number of hours. So, m is equals to additional pay per hour. 
and B is equals to delivery driver earns daily. So, pwede natin siyang i-represent as y equals 700 plus 20x. Pero dahil nang una lagi si slope sa ating equation, yun yung ating uunay. So, ang representation ng ating problem solving, uh, problem number 3 ay y equals 20x plus 700 or f of x equals 20x plus 700. Since ang ating slope dito ay si 20 pesos for every hour and ang ating 700 pesos yung ating y-intercept which is yung kanyang earnings daily. And for our problem number 4, so we have a charging station charges 15 pesos per hour for charging the battery of a cellular phone plus additional 10 pesos for the charger. So, find the cost of a 2 hours charging. So, underline natin yung mga given. Ayan. So, kung napapansin nyo, nauna na, meron na tayong, uh, may na-encounter tayong word ng first. So, alam na natin na siya yung ating slope. And then, merong word na additional. So, yung additional, yung plus, and then, yung 10 pesos, yun na yung ating y-intercept. At yung 2 hours charging, siya yung ating x, in, uh, x variable. So, kunin natin yung total cost uh, ng uh, charging after 2 hours. So, representation muna tayo. So, nasabi ko naman na, pero isulat natin siya. So, we have y equals total cost of charging. x is equal to number of hours. m is equal to charges per hour. And B is the additional for charger. Or yung uh, amount nung, uh, kumbaga, baya dun sa charger. Sa pagre-rent. Di ba, mag-charge ka, so kailangan mong bayaran din yung charger. So, ang representation natin, so ang ating 15 pesos, siya yung ating slope. Yung charger natin, yun yung ating white set. At, mamaya na natin hahanapin yung total cost ng charging. So, we have y equals 15x plus 10 or f of x equals 15x plus 10. Yeah. And since hinahanap nga natin yung total cost after or total cost kapag ka nag tayo ng dalawang oras. So, at dahil si x ang ating oras or number of hours, so we let x equals 2. At i-substitute lang natin siya sa ating function. So, we have y equals 15 times 2 plus 10. And 15 times 2 is equals to 30 plus 10. So, we have 40. So, y equals 40. So, answer natin. So, it costs 40 pesos in 2 hours charging. So, kapag nag-charge tayo ng dalawang oras, magbabayad na tayo ng 40 pesos. So, ganun lang po kalaling mag- um, so, to mag-solve ng problems, ng problem regarding or involving linear functions. Kailangan lang natin maging familiar or kailangan natin kilalanin si slope, si y-intercept, at kung ano yung magiging output at input doon sa problem. So, pag na-encounter nyo na lahat or pag na-recognize nyo na sila, isa-substitute nyo lang siya sa ating linear function na y equals mx plus b or f of x equals mx plus b. So, sana meron kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. Lamang po. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!